Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing something rather interesting that was recently revealed by Ninjago series head writer Doc Wyatt over on Twitter. Now, with that being said, this video will contain slight spoilers for Ninjago Dragons Rising Season 2 Part 2. Keep that in mind, minor spoilers are ahead. Now, in terms of this reveal, this has to do with Jay, of course, in the context of Dragons Rising. Somebody asked Doc Wyatt over on Twitter, does the media you watch ever influence your writing in Ninjago or decisions you make for characters, arcs, etc.? Doc Wyatt replies with some inspiration for Jay in the administration. He also attaches this image of what appears to be a prototype design for Jay in Ninjago Dragons Rising. Unless this is some type of future design for Jay. More likely than not, though, this was an in-progress design, as Doc Wyatt did mention that eventually they had to lose the badge, referring to Jay's lightning pin, because in the administration he wasn't public about having an elemental power. But taking a look back at this design for Jay, this rough early concept, there are quite a few things that are different here from the final Jay design that we saw in Dragons Rising. First of all, the aforementioned lightning pin, which is the exact same one that Jay had on his season 11 design, except this one seen on administration Jay is not as dirty. It's more clean, more streamlined, and it also is lacking its partner, the smiley face pin. That one did not carry over, and while I do really enjoy the pin on administration Jay, again, it makes sense why he would not have it in the finalized design, since Jay was secret about his ability to control lightning, why would he walk around publicly displaying it? That really would not make much sense. Maybe there's another version of the story where he was an outed elemental master in the administration and just wore this badge with honor. But again, how much sense would that make? But also, going back to this prototype design, the more noticeable difference is that Jay does not have his freckles here. Now, this could just be a case of this render specifically not having all of the details as the finalized Jay design, because obviously, in Dragons Rising, Jay does have freckles, but I've been on record multiple times saying that the freckles for Jay really do not look all that great when compared to Jay's original design. I just don't think the freckles make much sense, and I've never really thought that. The freckles were always my least favorite part about the redesigned Jay, but here, I mean, this looks really, really good. I think no freckles for Jay looks amazing, and this design lacking the freckles, again, it just looks a million times better. I also took the liberty of seeing what this design would look like with Jay's classic eyebrow notch. And this design right here, I wish this would have been Jay's redesign. Jay's redesign from the Ninjago movie was always my least favorite redesign. I love the hair, I like the face, I just don't really care for the freckles and the lack of an eyebrow notch. If Jay looked like this in Dragons Rising, that would have just been incredible. But again, comparing this prototype design to the finalized J design, there are not a lot of differences here. The outfit is the same, minus the lightning pin. J still has the black jacket, the white shirt, the blue tie. All of that remains the same, but I feel like just the tiniest difference, the freckles being gone, makes a world of difference. And in a lot of ways, like I said, I wish this was Jay's actual design in Dragons Rising. Maybe even with the eyebrow notch, that would have been just incredible. Oh well, it is what it is at the end of the day. I just thought this was a very interesting tweet made by Doc Wyatt, not only explaining the inspiration behind Agent Jay Walker, but also attaching an early design, which, of course, I've already given my thoughts on. Now it's time for you guys to express your thoughts. Down below in the comments, feel free to let me know what you think about this prototype design for Jay. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you think Dragons Rising should have done something like this instead? Leave all your thoughts down below, and thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed this one, feel free to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Peace.